Terry, when the Falcons um, drafted Kyle Pitts, the very first person I thought about on the Panthers team that could actually match up to him was you. You both are positionless, um, you know, very skilled, got size and speed. How have you prepared, or I guess your mindset going into this week, getting prepared to face him on Sunday? Yeah, it's just another game. Uh, prepare the same way every single week. So far. Uh, he can run, he's tall, explosive, makes great catches at the point. Do you, do you look forward to a matchup like that against kind of a unique athlete? Is that, I don't know, if measuring sticks the right way to say it, but do you look at it as a test for you personally? Uh, I see it as an opportunity, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's been cool. A lot of guys have just been flying around. The communication has been great. Uh, so we're just going to continue to try to make that step. But those guys all coming back is definitely helpful. Phil Snow said, you know, you know just going off of what God did, Phil Snow said today that that's why they brought you here. So, like, when you hear that, you know, your coaches kind of have that yeah. confidence in you. What do you think about that? I love it. I, I appreciate that, for real. Bump into pits at all at any camps or anything? I know you're a year older, but no, nah, I've never met him before. Where does he line up majority of the time? Uh, he lines up everywhere. He'll line up in a slot. He'll line up outside at number one. He'll line up uh, in a tight end position too. Without giving anything away, is there? Do you think you'll be on him a lot of the day, most of the day? How would you? Characterize it. it all depends how snow calls it, uh, but I mean that's where I expect to be. Yeah. Without, without trying to go into a trade secret, how do you approach it from a standpoint of, of how to defend him? Is it you going to be physical with him? Do you have to, you know, shade him or give him different looks? How, how do you feel like is the best way to attack him? Say physical. Yeah. Do you, do you lean on any other your previous matchups? I know you went up against Chelsea last year. That was a tough matchup. Do you lean on any of your previous matchups, how you approach it, or are they all different? Uh, I think they're all different, especially with him. You know, he's more unique than any of the guys that we faced all year. So he's more of a wide receiver, big body wide receiver, tight end, compared to the other guys he faced. What's Matt Ryan doing so well this year? Phil Snow said he's playing like he's 25 again. Yeah, he's playing great. I mean, he, get, he gets the ball out so fast. Um, you know, if his read's not there, he'll check it down. Um, you know, he throws the deep ball great. So, I mean, yeah, he's, and he can also run. He'll, he'll, he'll tuck the ball and run, too. So he's just a competitive player. Jeremy, what have you guys missed the most uh, without Shaq out there the last three weeks? Um, Shaq, Shaq just brings a whole different demeanor to the defense. You know, his leadership out there, um, you know, his, his just command. You know, him, him flying around, it definitely elevates everybody else around him. With the team, with the defense being so young, is it particularly pronounced when he's not out there, Justin's not out there, and it's a lot of young guys kind of trying to find your way? Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily, we're just trying to, I wouldn't say we're trying to just find our way, but there, there definitely, there's a difference for sure, yeah. Have you worn a headset at all? You mean like the... No, nah, I have no. Has it been mostly been Jermaine without Shaq? Or? Yeah, mostly Jermaine with him being the mic. Yeah. Yeah. How has his addition this season, do you think, has enhanced uh, you all's defense? Who's that? Hassan. Hassan? Yeah, he's, <clears throat> his addition has been huge. I mean, he, he makes plays, um, gets out of the quarterback, helps the run game, everything. So his impact has been great. I mean, any any time you can get after the quarterback, it just helps the back end. Uh, the ball guys, it has to come out faster. You know, we don't have to cover for as long. Uh, there's some plays we don't cover at all just because he sacked so quickly. So. That's all good. Anything you've seen from the last few weeks practicing with Gilmore that sort of like made you think like, okay, <laughs> that's why this guy was the defense player. That yeah, had. how smart he is. I hope sometimes he's out there playing defense and he's running a route for him and it's just crazy like how'd you know that was coming but uh he's a veteran player he watches film he's played the game for so long so uh he definitely has the, the iq how will schematically will he help you guys on the back end 
um, schematically. I don't know if I can, I'm allowed to get into that or anything. <laughs> but uh, like I said, he'll, he'll come in and just his, his mindset out there, his veteran, his veteran leadership and mindset, um, he'll definitely have a huge impact for us. And he almost like just shut down one side of the field. Yeah, I mean, it's Stefan Gilmore. <laughs> you know who he is. <laughs> Thanks. Actually, I was going to quick hooks. Um, <laughs> with the way the last four weeks have gone, I mean, there were there were points this year where you guys were kind of challenged. Thinking back to like Indianapolis during the joint practices, does do you guys need something like that? Maybe a little bit to push to try to break out of a slump like this? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think we just need to play better. Um, I need to play better. So I, j I just look at myself in that aspect, um, you know, and that's, that's the only thing I can control. So I'll play better, and I know the other guys will look at themselves as well, and that's how we just take our first step forward. Do you think about that this defense has played pretty well, you know, for the, all seven, seven weeks, but getting some of these reinforcements back, do you think getting all these Gilmore and Shaq on the field at the same time what do you think that does for this this group? Uh, it'll help everybody. Everybody will play faster. Um, just those, those veteran guys out there. Uh, it only elevates our defense. So I'm excited to go out there and play with them, um, especially Steph. I haven't been able to play with him at all. Uh, so I'm definitely looking forward to that on Sunday. Is there another step for this defense to take? And what do you think? Where you where do you think you guys have been lacking? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I think we'll continue to take steps throughout the season. Um, you know, if I was here and said we're exactly where we want to be, then that just wouldn't be the truth. So uh, I see us continue taking steps throughout the year. I think that's what the best teams do, just continue to get better. Uh, we don't want to play our best football right now, but we, we will continue to get better. Sorry to hammer this, but has there uh, been any um, play in practice um, that you remember of us that you were like, oh, damn, okay. at, at all leading from, to from training who? camp to now class? From Hassan, um, I mean, it happens often. This he had a play yesterday. He just tipped it up and picked it to himself. So, I mean, it's, it's stuff like that. It just happens often.